presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break the agreement is to... Make a new one based on truth. Only the truth is the power to set you free. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 940. S&P's off, uh, no, NASDAQ off 491. S&P's off 123. Gold contract up $11.70, trading at 1763. We got silver down 16 cents, 22 dollars 17 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 157, 70 dollars 40 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 years up up a half a point. 133.09, 30 years up a full point, plus 11 ticks at 163.30, which is saying both notes and bonds, even with the Fed coming in with the meeting, wants higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar's up 92 ticks, trading at 93.287, Euro 117, Yen 109.37. The British pound is trading out at a price point of 136 to 1 US dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda, as we do every other week. Uh, Dave is the Managing Director and Head of Product at Direction. As you're at our website at TFNA and you can hit that Direction banner, please do it now because we are going to be talking Direction. We're going to be talking about how uh, these, uh, you know, we trade a lot of these ETFs, folks, okay? And they are for traders, but there is so many that you can use when you're a long-term trader. Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, happy to be back. Yes, and it's a great day to be back because what I'd like to tell you, you know, I, I've been trading these products for a long time, okay? And we know that, you know, the leveraged products are definitely for traders, okay? There's no doubt about it. But what I'd like to talk a little bit about, okay, is that, you know, there's plenty of folks that, you know, you have so many more of them now that are in different sectors. And there's plenty of folks that, you know, the, if you're in for this market for a long period of time, it's pretty cool if you can get close to delta neutral. And delta neutral, folks, means that you just set, set something up on the other side without selling, without the tax implication. And Direction has plenty of products like that, um, you know, that they could, you can protect yourself, meaning that, okay, listen, if you're in the housing business, you can get nail, right? I mean, yep. um, you know, there, I know you can't push this, but if you can just explain some of those sectors that you actually have, Dave, you know, because, you know, there's plenty of people that, you know, if you're in the market for 10 or 20 years, well, that's good. If, you, if we get a downdraft going, you can protect yourself for a month. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's talk about hedging. Obviously, a, a sell-off like we've seen in September, really exuberated by t today's market moves, gets everyone thinking, how do I protect my portfolio? Yes. And one uh, one of the opportunity sets that we offer is these inverse ETFs. So what this means is that they offer the uh, opposite of the return. So let's say markets are down 1%, it would be up accordingly. Uh, now, a couple ways to think about that. Uh, so I think folks are probably familiar with uh, SPXL, that's the 3X bull on the S&P 500. The yes. bear is SPXS. So this is a tool, let's say going in today, uh, someone wanted to put on a hedge in their portfolio of the short term, I'd look at that 3X exposure, and against your longs, you're gonna be doing quite well today. 
But if you want to have something that kind of can be a little bit of a longer term holding, you can't you, you, you still have to pay attention to it. Understand to your point, what how, how much hedge ratio do I want to have out, have on? You can look at something like SPDN. So this is just one times the inverse of the S&P 500. And because of that, you have the ability to use it for slightly longer time periods without some of the negative negatives that can come in from comp compounding. Now, to be honest, you get the returns of SPDN this year because markets have, have effectively were on a straight line much of the year. It's going to be down. But in a month like September, whether you believe in seasonality, whether you're using other technical indicators, uh, it could be really a powerful tool to help uh, buffer against days like today. Oh, there's no doubt, man. No, I see this. This is pretty cool, man. I actually didn't know that you had a one-to-one -one on the S&P, too. Yeah. That is huge. So, folks, it is SPDN. And what's so cool, as, as Dave just said, this is something that if you think the S&P is going to go lower, the good news is that, you know, you can put this on and say, okay, as my portfolio is going down, this is going up a bit, okay, it, you know, it just less risk in the marketplace. Um, you know, if you bottom line think we're going to go down too quick, well, then you could do the, you know, the, the, the ratio trade. Uh, it's something that I just would love you investors and traders to look into because it's important. And it's amazing, Dave, that you actually could put them on and people save a lot, can save a lot of money. I'm not get as freaked out when you, I mean, because we haven't had a correction in so long, right? I mean, I was psyched coming into the office because I'm saying to myself, I haven't, I haven't talked to Dave with a Dow down, you know, uh, 900 in like five or six years. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, and we haven't even been below the 50-day moving average in the S&P 500. Not that that's an end-all, be-all ratio, but it's generally a guide of just how kind of easy returns have been. It is. Um, so, What's interesting is, you know, everyone's asking for the sell off, whether this continues, these are opportunities where you want to put either put some of that cash to work on the long side or look at hedging the longs you might have. Another use, because uh, we just got through another busy earnings season that these inverse products can have is let's say you have a portfolio that's tech heavy or semiconductor heavy. Yes. Whether you're using the ETF or the individual names, we really see a lot of activity on names like tech uh, uh, tech S or on Sox S. To provide that hedge on that week when everyone's reporting, your NVIDIAs and every that are moving the index, just to give you that buffer. Because to your point, the last thing you want to have to do, unless you uh, the fundamentals of the company have changed or your opinion of the company or whatever indicators you're using change, is sell longs in a day like today. Yes. Uh, again, particularly if you put them on for a reason. So these tools um, can can be used for that. And, and I, I like them as well because – Options have never been easier to trade for investors, but they involve different types of risks. Uh, inverse ETFs have their own type of risk, but it's just a good way where, again, you can keep the core of your portfolio or your trading book, however you want, whatever your, your outlook or, or, or thesis is, and use a tool like this for a small outlay of capital to provide that buffer when you, when you might need it uh, at, at the worst possible time for a market. Uh, There's no The best doubt. possible time. Yeah, exactly. no, and as Dave just brought up, the option market, folks, what happens on a day like today, and listen, I trade a lot of options, you can't buy them today because your premium is so high. The, your product is where it's at on a day. It really, it really is, Dave. Do you know what I mean? Because what ends yeah. up happening, I was looking, even looking at the spreads in the option market, they're, they're outrageous. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they get blown through right away when the when realized volatility increases. They do. Well, listen, we appreciate the update. Look forward to speaking to you in two weeks. Talk soon. Thanks, Dave. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking back. for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow. Dow down uh, to 963. You get the NASDAQ off 512. S&Ps are off uh, 126. Now, when you look at these markets, folks, okay, here, I'm going to bring this up because you're going to see the decisive break that we have. And when you, when you have been at all-time highs for this long with no volume, when the break comes, the break comes. Now, this is what's going to be really, you know, sad about this pullback okay and what it's going to be there's going to be so many folks that has never seen a pullback that they're going to be very upset as this thing gets down to i suspect we're going to the consolidation okay the bottom of the consolidation now that doesn't mean we're going to stop there you know because if you've read my book the out of time in the trade the way that it works is that you go to the high volume low okay so the high volume low that we have here Inside the SPY is 404. We're at 429, okay? We're down 12 bucks. So that'd be like two more days of like this. And the thing that, of course, that is, is wild is that in the, in the course of just three days, we just took back, uh, we're at March 2nd right now, okay? So you can, mark what, March, April, May, June, July, August. Um, yeah, so we took back uh, five and a half, March, June, July, August. Yeah, we took them back five and a half months in all of four days. Now, you can see the volume has exploded, but what I really want you to see, I want you to see that trend line. That trend line is a break with conviction. You get wide price spread, you get accelerated volume. Most times, that's where you're going to go right there. Uh, will you get bounces in between it? Yeah, you will. My take, though, no bounce tomorrow, not even close. And this is why. Because we've been in a market that for so long the bounce has worked, when they don't work, you normally get something that's just vicious. When that, and vicious, what I mean, two, three days down, like these numbers. You know, so that, that's where I'm going with this whole deal. If we take a look at the NDX 100, what you're going to see with the three Qs, you have the same setup. Now, the difference in the three Qs, this is pretty heavy in the three Qs, man, because the three Qs are saying that we can go, go back almost six months ago, like in about a heartbeat, okay, which is just insane. Okay, the, the Qs are saying we get uh, 316 on the radar. No, yeah, 316 on the radar. And it's 361. We, we've just blown, you know, into, let's say, so the, the Qs are back to March 13th. Yeah, March 13th. Okay, but that, that break there is a monster. Now, I certainly don't see them going down there in one straight line. I, that said, 
guess what? I could see the three Qs down at 340 by the end of the week. It's that, it's that dramatic. Because when, when they let loose, folks, they let lo loose in an incredible way. Um, the IWM, let's watch the IWM because what, what I have seen, okay, so watch this. This is pretty cool. Now, the IWM is backing down, but the volume is not anywhere near the SPY and the three Qs. So I suspect what will happen with the three Qs. If you're looking for something that you think can pop, it's going to be the IWM. Uh, and I still expect we're 214. I expect the IWM is going to get down to 209 somewhere, 208, 209. That's the bottom of this consolidation. If you see it contract at that level, bottom line, that's when you're going to bite. And what that's going to be all about uh, is the basically the mining sector, the oil sector. Uh, it looks to me, this is what I, I think actually, I put this in the gold report today, and this is what it looks like. It looks to me, so inside of the gold and silver equities, folks, what has happened is this. Some of them had got hit really hard, really early. And those equities, okay, actually are the stronger equities now, which is really wild. And so I'm saying to myself, okay, hold it. So what, what happened here is that those equities sold off. As the sell-off has accelerated, even I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the mining sector right now first, okay? But this is where I'm going with the aspect of the whole market. I think that the mining sector actually let us lower. The, now the market's blowing up. Inside the mining sector, the gold and silver equities that went down first, they, they're just not selling there. And in fact, two or three of them did not even break their swing low last week, okay? So that's saying, okay, they did what they were supposed to do. That sector in general has done what it's supposed to do. And more than likely, that's going to hold. I don't expect this to go to the moon because when you're going south like this, you don't go to the moon in any sector. But I expect that there's going to start to be buying there. Not a lot. And the reason there won't be a lot of buying is because there's going to be so much money that's lost on this downdraft. Because this, this is where it goes to trade as heaven. It just disappears. Okay. Downdraft's always intriguing to me. They've always been intriguing because I say, wow, how does that much money just disappear? And it, it, that's what happens, folks. And as it disappears, that affects everything, everything. It affects, it's going it, it to, affects everything. Whether people, you know, you look at your account, you get less money, well, you do less things. That, that's how this thing goes. So that being said, the next thing we want to look at is this, okay? Because we know, we take a look at the trend, you take a look at the, the trend right now is at 1.86. Well, guess what? That is saying that people are not scared. That's not good. That's not good at all, okay? The tick is a different ball game, and let's see what, how this works out. Okay, so the tick, we can, you don't, when, right now, if you look at a tick, folks, it says a minus 2,067. You can't count that. That's the opening tick. Opening ticks don't mean a thing, okay? So, so thus far, the down tick is minus 1540. That's a, that's a good down tick. That's a decent down tick. It'll get heavier than that, though. We're talking about 17, 1800 down tick. That's, that's the real bottom line. Now, let's go to Evergrande for a second, because um, this is the deal with Evergrande, if you, don't, if you haven't heard of this yet, how this is shaken out. So Evergrande has the deposits of over a million people in China. That's deposits to buy units, okay? All that money's gone. They have uh, investors of uh, 77,000. I believe 77,000 um, folks has lent the money. I suspect that's going to be gone. The amount of debt that is coming due is extraordinary. Now, the Chinese government has already told everyone that this... When I say everyone, we're talking about the banks, that these dividends are not going to be paid. So what does that have to do with the U.S.? Well, what it has to do with the U.S. is this, folks, is that when these blow-ups occur, most of the times what ends up happening is that our large companies have lent money to either banks, people doing business with them, to someone, okay? Uh, and it's the bond business that blows the whole deal up. 
That, that's, that's, how, that's how this thing shakes out. So what I expect we're going to find out in the next few days, maybe a few weeks, is that who's on the hook for what, and then that basically pushes more selling into our market. That, that's how this shakes out. When we come back from the break, I'll talk about the aspect. Is that, so, you, you know, you have two different issues, big blow-up issues. The first one was long-term capital. That was 98. Now, this, is, this is probably like a long-term capital. This is not going to be like a 2007. This will be like a, a 1998. It'll be like a six-week to eight-week deal. There'll be some big destruction, and then we'll move forward. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are down uh, 821. Nasdaq's off 443. S&Ps are off 106. Let's go take a look at a few of the uh, equities here. We'll start with Apple. So Apple is on a, in an ABC structure on the way down. It had taken its B point out on Friday. You can see it's pretty clear, right? B point, we had uh, volume 129 million. We needed a volume here of 83. So your A point on Apple is up at 157.26. Let me get this. So that's your A. Your B is at uh, 146.37. You know, so you approximately get 11 points, right? Your C, your C point here is the uh, 148. Let's call it 149. So 139. 138 is your first stop. Now, that being said, 
I suspect, as I said just a little bit earlier, that you're going to get some more heat here. So I suspect, it, it, you know, Apple's going to run to like 135 first. Um, now, at that level, uh, is that a buy? Let's put this on a weekly for a second. Because it, it's, it's going to be, that's going to get it back inside the lower range. It looks to me like Apple can, man, this is pretty intense. Well, let's stick with the 135 first. Well, and if you come down, if we come down to 135, because this is what 135 is also. If we go, if you do this on a weekly, 135 is the high of October of, of Listen to this, 20, yeah, well, of last year, okay? So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty intense as it is. And it has real good volume there. It has volume of 882 million. So maybe that's where it wants to go. Then it can consolidate out for a while. Uh, when you're looking at any of the equities that you actually own, folks, what you should do is that you bring them up, okay? And as you bring them up, then look for high volume lows, because most of the time, the high volume low, that is where you're going to head for. That's what, that's what it comes down to. You know, that's, that's, how, that's how it shakes out. Uh, if we go back to Evergrande for a second, okay? So, so now the question is going to be, normally what has happened in China is this, is that normally the government steps in right away, bottom line, feeds the banks more money, feeds the developers more money, and so, you know, this has been going on for a long period of time because... Uh, the property market, I believe, is 7% of the GDP. Okay, it's, 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 a, it's a very large number. That, that's the real bottom line. Um, so, with G now saying he wants to spread the wealth, okay, the markets are saying, okay, well, how far do you want to spread the wealth? Do we, do we want to just destruct the whole market? And we're going to find out. We're going to find out uh, just who's going to blink first, whether it's going to be the... Uh, you know, communist government, are they going to blink and let their market really go south? And then, you know, they'll find out how quickly wealth disappears instead of they thought that the way that they're set up right now is that they're basically shaking down the tech companies to turn around and spread wealth around, uh, you know, more so, okay? Bottom line, uh, I suspect that they're going to come in. Evergrande will be a different company. That'll come out. And the reason I'm saying that is this. The amount of protest and the amount of social unrest that will come in inside the real estate market because Evergrande has so many deposits, it could be problematic, you know? But, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Um, and we'll find out exactly who's tied up on this side of the water. There's going to be tie-ups. There's, there's no two ways about it. We're always going to be surprised of the tie-ups. That's what normally ends up happening. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You, Apple's a big one. AMC uh, uh, Entertainment's down 450. You got Cleveland Cliffs off 223. Vance Micro's off 331. You have uh, Nvidia off 987. Microsoft down uh, 820. Microsoft, man, Microsoft, you know, it, it really, it didn't bust anything on Friday, but that thing came down hard on Friday. Um, now this is pulling back. Let's put this on a weekly just to see where this shakes out. And see what this is, this is when you can tell that this is not you and I sell, uh, tra selling. This is not a retail trader selling, man. This is funds coming in. In fact, if you take a look at this, you'll see that we had a, down week with 134 million shares. So Microsoft easily can pull back to 242. And we're 290, okay? You know, so this, you know, just may be a long-term top. And when I say a long-term top, you just might mean a real long-term top, you know? <laughs> and it's like, okay, what does that mean? Two, three, four, five years or uh, 20 years? It's hard to tell. I can tell you this, every time that when you see something that you think can never go down, this is, this is how they normally play out, man. I mean, that, that's, that's the reality. Let's go take a look at Amazon, see how Amazon set up. You've heard me many times explaining now how hard it is to buy Amazon when it's going down because it's like, man, um, it just goes down so fast. 
And this particular market here, okay, this is not bad. Amazon's down 130 bucks. So, I mean, my take is Amazon wants to go back to uh, 2881 anyway. We're at 3331 right now. That's the, um, the bottom of its consolidation. We put this on a monthly. You get, it's, not, it's pretty good volume up at 3773. If you pull back to the bottom of the consolidation, which is the 2870, with light volume, that could be a good setup. What you want to do is this. As you're bringing up equities that you like, right, if you find one that has a high volume high that's pulling back, that's huge, huge, okay? They go back to high volume highs, folks. What they don't do, which I haven't figured out yet, is there's not a there's not a timeline but i can tell you this it's 10 times better buying an equity that has a high volume high and it pulls back than buying an equity that you just like because that you like the name and it doesn't have a high volume high in fact i'll tell you a trick to do this is a this is a tom dorsey trick this is one of the guys that did a point and figure chart and well he didn't do it he, he, but he made it famous again. Point and figure charting has been around forever. But, and I like point and figure charting, but it's a, for a longer term deal, meaning that it, a short term trade, you know, an investor, if you're an investor, you should look at it because it's really a cool deal. And one of the deals with something like this, that we're so used to names that we love, okay, that when you pull up charts, you turn around and you don't put the name, you, you got to cover the top of the name and then you look at the chart because what ends up happening is that we're all prejudiced in our mind to certain equities that feel like okay they're never going to go down like there was so many people man I saw it like there's so many people that 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 GE could never go down trust me okay or not only never go down that would definitely go back up okay well if you take a look at GE now GE's trade $99 the tie is $465 its low was uh, $43. This is, they, they, you know, went 10 for one reverse. The, the bounce got it to 115. G, G would be a perfect situation that if you ever put it up in a chart, you know, you never would have bought it because it just keeps going low with huge volume. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 760. NASDAQ is off 413. S&P's off 97. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 747. You get the NASDAQ off 404, S&P's off uh, 93. If we go inside uh, the Dow and take a look at the uh, strength versus the weakness. Uh, so big numbers. You got uh, Goldman putting 103 negative points, Caterpillar 65, United Health 56, Microsoft 50. If we go inside the uh, NDX 100 and take a look at it, uh, they're all, well, they're not all Chinese stocks. Um, top three are, though. You got Penduoduo down 7%, JD.com down 5%, Baidu off uh, 5%. Uh, CGen is uh, up 1.3%, uh, and that's it inside the uh, NDX 100. So you're talking about big numbers. You know, there's a story out here today. Um, you know, we know that, you know, this story here is about employees uh emergency employment benefits in the united states has expired two weeks ago but employees are expected to increase uh and job applications are largely still waiting for them to roll in you know this is uh, this is a big heads up folks okay meaning that what we had is this is that you had the aspect of the uh the amount of stimulus that are coming into states that would get un into unemployment and when the last stimulus bill went through, there's certain states, Florida was one of them, that they didn't basically give you that extension. Other states did. But now the whole deal is done in the whole country. And what employers are thinking like, hey, why aren't people coming back to work? I'll give you my take on it. My take, and this is a really weird, I don't know if it's a weird take or not, but this is what I'm, I, I think this is what has happened and will happen in the future. And uh, this is where there could be some real trouble in the future. And this won't be overnight. I'm talking about in five or ten years. That what you had is this, is that you had people first off getting used to getting paid. So now they don't want to go back to work, period. Okay? It's like, I don't want to go back to work. One of the main reasons they don't want to get back to work now is that prices are going up. They say, that's it. I don't care. I don't want to work anymore. I don't want to do this. I'm going to groove. I've been doing what I want to do. And I think that's really going on. And one of the main reasons for that could be that because we've seen rents go up so dramatically, housing go up so dramatically, it's got to be kind of frustrating that you're a young person and it's like you're going to be like, okay, how am I going to be able to afford this? And then they just say, hey, man, you know what? Screw it. I'm not, I don't, I'm going to step out of this whole deal. Now, that only works for so long and then they really understand that, okay, well, I got to do something. But I, I got to tell you this other story because what, what, I, what I realized, okay, is that I always said to folks about the last, let's say, five to ten years, I says, if I was ever 20 years old again, right, and the way that I watch people, you know, watch on their phone, walking like on their phone all the time, I'm saying to myself, oh, my God. If you're 20 years old, you could take over the world so easy these days, okay? Because no one's paying attention to anything. All they pay attention to is the phone, is to, you know, whatever is happening on the phone. And, like, that is so easy to manipulate anyone. It's unbelievable, okay? And then I realized over the weekend, I said, you know what, man? This, is, this has already happened. And if you are out here 
all of us out here that collectively are working. If you, if you, if you can, st I can tell you something. If you stay off your phones, you're going to be surprised how much more you make without even trying. That, that's, that's what's so weird about it. I said to myself, you know, man, okay, I thought I haven't even done anything. But because you're paying attention to the world instead of paying attention to your phone, like I've been places and seen actually beautiful things happening and people looking at their phone. I'm saying to myself, this is unbelievable, man. So people are looking at their phone. Something extraordinary is happening. No clue. So the real deal is that no clue. That's, that's, that's what has happened out here. And when there's no clue, what you're going to get flat out is you're going to get these inequalities. There's, you know, there's other parts of that for sure. The bigger part of it, though, and this is going to be straight across all of society, my take is that. And that's not going to change. So we'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. But uh, that, that looks to me like that's, that's where it's at. And then all of a sudden they wake up and they wonder why. Okay, then they're going to wonder why they don't have anything. Well, they don't have anything because guess what? They're on their phone 24 hours a day. They're not working. And then they're going to start complaining later. And then, of course, as soon as they start complaining, people will say, well, you haven't worked anyway. So what are you talking about? You know, but when there's enough of that happening, that's going to be uh, social problems. There's no doubt about that. There's, there's no doubt about it. So let's go into, uh, let's see, we, we looked at Amazon, Microsoft, Netflix, NFLX. Okay, so Netflix, look at Netflix is holding up, man. This is interesting. You're only down 15 bucks. Now, don't get, I wouldn't, what I would not be doing, folks, okay, is buying anything out here right now, okay? Don't think, uh, like I just said, okay, it's only down $16. This is what normally happens on a big downdraft. You get, you know, you get selling, you get selling, you get selling. And then what ends up happening is that the stocks that did held up right before we get a bottom, you basically get more selling. That's how it normally happens. Netflix is a, is a nice setup, though. There's no doubt about that. But it's back inside its lower range. So that's saying that, hey, guess what? It can get down into this, uh, you know, 513 again, then you're to 572. Because you got to remember something technically how it works is that when people have to sell, they're going to sell the last, well, they're going to sell a lot of their good stocks, which you never should sell your good stocks. The bottom line, markets sell their good stocks when they're basically coming down. That accelerates the way down. So you do it, you have, have good stocks that go down to the bottom of these consolidation. That's how it shakes out. Now, if we go over to notes and bonds, and, you know, it, it's amazing to me that the note and bond market is just so freaking smart that it just doesn't stop. It hasn't stopped. You know, we've gone up so many points, and yet the 10-year is still at 133.08. We came down on Friday. Now, you came down on Friday with 1.4 million, but guess what? You're going into 2.3 million contracts, okay? So the bottom line is that you come down with light of volume. We've already done 1.3 million. This wants higher price. And this is going to be all about the aspect that, guess what? The Fed has already told us they're not going up on rates to 2023. Markets have told us the same thing because the note and bond market doesn't pull back. Writers inside of the markets are saying left and right, oh, we're going to start ta tapering the next few months. Rates are going to go up. Rates aren't going up, folks. That's my take on it. We're going to be lower for longer in a big way because <laughs> there is so much stuff happening out here right now. Oh, we haven't even talked about the debt ceiling. So the debt ceiling is going to be next. The debt ceiling is going to be crawling up on us. So picture this. You have Evergrande going on. We have the Fed meeting going on. We get the debt ceiling going on. Never mind about what we really should be talking about. Are the companies making money or not? Those three together with a downdraft, not great. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is down to 661. We get the NASDAQ uh, off about 357. S&Ps are off 81. And if we go take a look at some of these, uh, let's go take a look at the NQs for a second. So you get a bounce coming into the close, which totally makes sense. When you get a market that's down this dramatically, folks, uh, bottom line, NQZ, uh, you're going to have traders, okay, uh, closing positions that they have open, meaning you're selling shot. Of course, you're, you're going to close. You're not going to go overnight with this. Um, and I suspect that's exactly what we actually have going on. You know, maybe some people buy in a dip, but to me, this is just uh, folks that have traded and they're saying, okay, man, so, because pitch this, even if you didn't, if you weren't shot the cues, folks, be prior to this, even if you weren't shot on the open today, the open was 369, you got down to 360, and you're at 364, okay? The, you know, the cues, the cues love moving lower, faster than any of us ever realize, okay? Um, that's how the the cues trade. Uh, but I know that there's, you know, plenty of folks that, because we haven't had a downdraft in so long, um, you know, the last couple weeks, all I kept saying to myself, okay, just remember, man, remember the NQs, man, you just can't believe how fast they can go down. And they do. It's just crazy, man. And my, you know my take, uh, that we're not stopped at this point, but um, the NQs always blow my mind. I, I love them, okay? Um, but it's remembering how fast they can go down because it, it's hard to believe, like, how can a stock 
be worth like $100, and then like, you know, four weeks later into a correction, be worth 65 and it's still a great stock. And then that $65 stock, by the way, once we come out of this, we'll go past the 100 Okay, so that, that, that's, that's how it works, okay? But it's insane. <laughs> it's totally insane. There's no doubt about it. Dow. Dow's down six. Uh, let's see. Let me see. I just want to see what this trend is right now. So the trend, yeah, the trend's still too, the trend's not high enough. That's the bottom line. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends to join us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off. They got to listen to the program, folks. Great time to listen to the program. Nine o'clock in the morning. Look at them, folks.